But yeah, this is basically... Basically Konami rehashing Sunset Riders, except, uh... Using a license on some, uh... Some kid show that's, uh, trying to be the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Also Rodeo. God, the volume is still... Still really low. As loud as I can get it. Sodius Chubbs, thank you for the... For the 31 months. I always skip that intro. I've never seen that. That's a bad, awful laugh. My buttons aren't set. Hold on a sec. I was playing this on pad. It was made by one of the character designers of TMNT. Well, I guess that, uh... That checks out. Well, I don't have to play this for score this time. I can just, uh... A lot of enemies don't really pose much threat to you. But yeah, the plot of this show, like some meteor comes to Earth and transforms some cows into like into anthropomorphized uh, versions of themselves. And a lot of them are evil, so there have to be some some good guys. I don't know. I I don't know anything about it. I have not done Vendetta yet, no. I do not know if that's happening tonight. Where's he gonna land? And yeah, the horses are still regular-ass horses in the background. Oh, nice, Dumple John. So if you're playing the world version, you actually get to, to pick the next stage. The US version, like, makes you play through in a, in a set order. Yeah, we should talk about the, the different versions of this. Also, this is a, a shmup stage. There's a couple shmup stages in this. So yeah, this is this is the world version. There's three versions in Mame. There's the world version, the US version, and the the Asian version. I don't actually know what the differences are in the Asian version, but the uh, as usual with the Konami arcade games, the US version is harder. But it's not uh, it's not quite the same level as bullshit as like uh, a lot of US versions. It's not as bad as like uh, Crime Fighters or Metamorphic Force. It's most of the changes in the U.S. version are... They change, like, some of the enemy patterns. Like, this stage has some more enemies. You have one less life to start. You have two lives... Or, you have one life in reserve instead of two lives. And bosses have more health, which... Which makes them pretty tanky. Also, yeah, the, uh, the stage order is fixed. Oh, we can't save Lily. There goes the money. Unfortunately, this bird won't stop. Yeah, like on the US version, there's supposed to be some bees that come out here. But they just don't appear right here. <laughs> In the world version. There's no Japanese version that's been dumped. I don't know if there's a Japanese version that's even easier. Yeah. These shmup sections aren't aren't too bad. For the most part. Oh yeah, I got a little power-up thing. If I push both buttons together, it does a uh, a big explosion thing. Also, Shrek balloon. Oops. Get up in his face and start mashing. Your hitbox is kind of huge. It is kind of hard to dodge stuff here. That's not the actual boss, though. So, 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 so. Yeah, 
Do that to blow up the tail. Hey, it gave me a... I think that power-up is random. It gave me the invincibility. But yeah, this, this boss is a joke. Just duck when he does this. Sometimes the claw comes back around. He does have a melee attack, though. Here it comes. I haven't one cc Bucky O'Hare or Violent Storm. Violent Storm's been one of those games that's always been on my list of, of things to, like, try to learn. But I've just never, never sat down and actually done it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this stage. The stage has an extra life the only one up in the game. But you can get it on each loop, so... It gives you a total of five lives for, for two loops. Alright, mid-boss. I forgot to use the dynamite. No, no, no. Give me that. The Undertaker! And there's the one up. I think I gotta kill this guy before I can scroll the screen. run through everything. <laughs> Since there's no contact damage with normal enemies, just like in Sunset Riders. Oops. Give me that drink. Oh yeah, this boss has a uh, an extra attack in the US version that I haven't seen happen in the world version. Like this first form, he actually like shoots feathers at you. Dead. Just kidding. Uh, why did he turn around? He does have a melee attack. Wow, that's a big hitbox. Also, yeah, you have a charge attack when you push both both buttons together. You can cancel at any time. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen, like, a single second of the, the TV show. <laughs> Alright, yeah, fuck it. Let's do this stage. Five Card Stud! Apparently they changed his name in the, the TV show to Five Card Cud. Konami didn't get the uh, the memo. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I ne I'd never really like spent much time with this game because now that I have, this game is definitely easier than Sunset Riders. You just have to learn a boss or two. The last boss is kind of a problem. You'll see when we get there. it easier than Sunset Riders? Well, you have a life bar, for one thing. And there's just not a... Oh. 
Not a lot of stuff that's actually trying to kill you. A lot of enemies you can just walk through. Yeah, and the life bar refills every stage. That doesn't even happen in Mystic Warriors. Another game I need to do at some point. I don't think it's happening tonight. I'm kind of dreading it. Even the Japanese version. Yeah, I still need a 1cc Metamorphic Force, too. The Japanese version, anyway. And all of a sudden, we're in a bar. does this. That pattern gets more dangerous on the second loop. Uh, the boxing glove was a power-up thing. Or a, a super attack you can use. I forgot to use it. I don't like using it there because sometimes I I press the button twice and I, I run off the chandelier. everything. Oop. Yoga fire. Okay, I gotta be careful now. <laughs> I'm taking too many hits. Yeah, he's firing stars. We can't show bullets. We can't show violence in this kid's cartoon. I took another hit. Shit. Alright, I'm playing really dumb. Pretty sure there is some health on this stage, though. For the boss. Is it fun? It's... it's aight. If you like Sunset Riders, it's not bad. Trying to get the the two loop clear was a not a big challenge, but I don't know. it's perfectly fine for what it is. gonna blow up. He ate the dynamite. Okay, I'm still one hit away from dying, so I gotta be careful. One cycle. Alright. I don't like this part. <laughs> this stupid spinning top. Spinning. Okay, got it. Hey. Done it. She's a beaut. Get it. Hello. 
are you? I'm fine, thank you. Let's run through everything. Oh, it's barrels, huh? Oh, I guess the barrels despawn if you don't, uh, <laughs> if you keep moving. I was playing this for score for a little bit, and that's a that's an experience. Rand Scott, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Yeah, let's climb a waterfall. Amazing looking water in this game. Sage is... Oh, wait, no. The sage isn't over yet. There's a mid-boss. Big snack. The snake has way more health on the U.S. version, I've noticed. I've been messing around with that. Ah! That was a fast attack. Guys hiding behind the grass. Alright, gotta slow it down a little bit. Also, yeah, I guess in the US version you can't uh you can't shoot those guys that are crawling on the ground. You actually have to like jump and shoot them. Which is kind of annoying. I guess they they changed the hitboxes in the U.S. version? Yeah, pick up that not booze to get my health back. A refreshing big gulp from the local 7-Eleven. Slurp juice, yeah. Slurping on slurp juice. Dabbing on Ryu. Alright, final stage. The mask bowl. Who is this mysterious mask bowl? Most of this game is a breeze. The second half of the stage is kind of tricky. I didn't get the points. Basically, I want to I want to keep this power up as long as I can. Yeah, you know, like you can't shoot these chandeliers. You have to actually like walk halfway under to get them to fall, which is annoying. This one I have to like. Come on. Fuck! Well, whatever. I think I can get some health uh, after that. It's very rude. I think there's some health right before the next section. Hey, there it is. Okay. And that's like the last power-up you get for the last boss, so... Gotta make it last. These... These bamboo traps from, uh... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tournament in time. Tournament in time? Turtles in time. Can't speak. I got tournament fighters on the brain. Right, 
use it on... I don't like that pattern, that's why I saved that power-up. These springy stones. You can't shoot them, you can only dodge them. enemies. These enemies have, uh, they have Yoga Fire and Yoga Flame animations. They're, they're straight up Dalsam. Konami got inspired by Street Fighter 2, I guess. Okay, this door thing, kind of have to shoot it from a distance. These bombs, I can't figure out when these bombs explode. Like, they usually explode right next to you. But sometimes they don't. I see her. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know the lore. I guess he's the mayor. Corrupt mayor? <laughs> Looks like he's trying to grab a titty there. for the final boss, which, uh, the video emulation here is a little fucked up. There's supposed to be some fog here. It's not, uh, it's not displaying right. Your ten lines are over. Your ten lines are over. So basically, I'm looking for that attack to, like, dodge out of the way of. He's got the most health. This is the last boss. He also has a Shoryuken, if you get too close. Special Defects. Ah, oh, too close. Shit. Okay. That, uh, escalated quickly. That's fine. I can just mash him down. Maybe. 20,000 even. Yeah, I was too close to the knives. Gonzalez is super from Don Kuga. <laughs> Got him, Cynical Razor. But yeah, we're going for two loops. The first boss with a corrupt sheriff and Moonlight is the mass bull to try to keep everyone afraid enough to keep him around. He works with the mayor. I see. Also, I think that was uh, Michiru Yamane in the in the music credits. Before she did music for Castlevania, she did music for this. 
Or during? I don't know. Vend. The logo's like off center. He takes a bite out of the wrong part. Anyway, loot two, there's more enemies. It becomes pretty pretty noticeable in the first stage. If you were paying attention, maybe you weren't. <laughs> I don't blame you. Boom down. Also, some boss patterns are a little tougher. Like, I don't think there were two of these enemies on the first loop. Or the bomb guys. Oh, I should use my, uh, my super attack. Oh, the slide kick. Yeah, apparently the mass bull actually is the fu the first boss is the final boss, I guess. Right? He comes back for revenge. Man, deep lore. I never even noticed. He hit the gym. He went to combat school. This came out after Sunset Riders, yes. Wait, did I get the year wrong? Was it 92? Because 92 was also... No, wait, Sunset Riders was 91. Right? It was like late 91. I want to say. Even in the second loop, they didn't, uh... They didn't put the missing bees in the stage. These are only in the US version, I guess. around the bees. Sometimes they, they like launch one of the bees at you, but maybe that's only in the US version. Okay, he's a lot more aggressive now. He fires a lot more often. Okay, I'm gonna get in his face and mash anyway. No, they never made a they never made a home version of this. Or anything with Mumesa, I guess. See like now he he does like uh, when he shoots those bullets, he shoots five instead of three. It's like when Chief Scalpum ranks up in, in Sunset Riders on the second loop. 
Except it's way easier to dodge it here. This is no Chief Scalpum. Or Chief Wigwam. This is way easier. What's up, Johnson? Oh, he does have a melee attack. He didn't do it, though. Gosh! Let's rodeo. Let's, rodeo. Right, let's just do the stage now. Doesn't matter what order I do the stages in. Also, this boss doesn't have a name. Yeah, the stage is, she's a beaut. Some puns that are probably gonna go over kids' heads. The spider's name is Sid, okay. Shot jump. Also, I guess in the U.S. version, uh, whoever that guy was in the balloon that, like, the guy in the Shrek balloon, he ends up, like, floating down the waterfall. But it doesn't happen in the in this version for some reason, even if you do the, the levels in order. The guy got burnt to a crisp. Spartonberry, thank you for the for the four months. How did you forget BBH Monday? It's the most magical day of the week. <laughs> It's all good, though. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, Konami got their hands on, like, a, a lot of licenses, it, it seems like. I think because, like, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was such a hit. They wanted to... They made enough money they could just, uh... Acquire a bunch and hope to hope to capture lightning in a bottle again. And kind of didn't happen to the same extent. I've been looking through like a lot of uh, a lot of back issues, well, back issues, a lot of scanned issues of Replay Magazine on the uh, on the Internet Archive, which was a a magazine for mostly. It was made for arcade operators. It wasn't really intended for players. It was more for the operators. But uh, looking through the ones in like 1990, like there's so many, uh, there's so many times like they mentioned like you know arcades were like kind of in a slump, but like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was making so much money for them. So I single out like TMNT so much. But the arcade industry was kind of, kind of in a lull, waiting for for Street Fighter Two to come out, I guess. But yeah, I've been. I'm so glad people have been uh, been scanning those for the Internet Archive. I, it's. I find it interesting to look through. I'm a, I'm a big arcade nerd. And issues of Gamest and Arcadia are getting scanned. 
Love it. Nice. Destroyed it before it could even do its bullshit. Okay, this... This part on loop two. Look how many jack-o'-lanterns it's firing out. Yeah, you get a... You get an auto-fire power-up, but... I still prefer mashing. Just because you can do even more damage on bosses. Because I love mashing. Did I just travel around to regional arcades? Well... My parents didn't want to drive me around to arcades out of town or anything like that, but once I got my driver's license, hell yeah. Oh, now he throws the feathers. That's only on loop two. I think he does that on loop one, though, in the US version. And now he throws four bombs instead of two. That's that's something I totally would have done if if YouTube had been around in the in the nineties. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Why me? Why me? Oh, I can't teabag him. Alright, mine and... Mine meta. I know. I've always, I've always loved just, just exploring, finding new arcades, or just finding arcade games and in, in random places. That's something that's going to be uh, uh, not going to happen as much now, even after COVID. I missed. Shit. God damn it. Okay. I've fallen for that before. Okay, I know there is health here. There might be another one. I think it turns into gold if you're already at full health. I can't get it. There we go. Yeah, you get plenty of health before the boss, thankfully. Oh, 
close to that. Oh, I don't like that attack. Luckily, he doesn't do contact damage. Is this Genesis? This is an arcade game. Wagon train. That wasn't worth it. Oh, yoga flame. But yeah, this this game is basically Sunset Riders light. I mean, like, it always feels like they just, like, didn't want to put, like, too many enemies in the game that were actually going to damage you. <laughs> a lot of enemies take their... They take their sweet time before they actually fire bullets at you. And you have a health bar, so it's, it's a little on the easy side. No, I never got a port. Probably never will. Only find it in, ar in arcades in the early 90s. I don't know how many people saw this in arcades. I've only seen like a, a couple cabinets of this. It's a very doable game. It's it's definitely if you're just going for one loop, it's it's on the easy side. I wouldn't say it's the easiest thing in the world, but it's pretty easy compared to compared to maybe Sunset Riders. that last time, too. I need to be careful. But yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles made made so much money for arcades. Konami's like, uh... Let's just keep making four-player cabinets. Four people putting money in the cabinet, more money for arcades. More likely the arcades are gonna are gonna buy the games. What's up, Brian? Okay. Oh god, that thing comes out sooner. This is loop two. Get greedy. Explosions have skulls to make them look like cow skulls, I guess. I guess. Yep, Simpsons made a shitload of money, X Men made a shitload of money. Konami had their had their niche in the in the early nineties. Those end up being some of the games uh, people associate the most with arcades now. Do this right this time. There we go. Oh, it looked like I fell there for a second. And I got back up on the table. Heaven forbid I walk around the table. Hmm. Got 
Three lives in reserve. I should be good. Fuck. <laughs> Time for the BBH meltdown. I gotta say this this stream has been uh, kind of light on the on the cow puns. I remember when this came up in roulette, it was it was fucking relentless. It was everybody trying their their stand up comedy routine. <laughs> God damn it! I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, now everybody's on the milking puns. <laughs> Why do I say anything? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Another time where BBH comes to regret a thing he said. my mic again. Oh god, there was another barrel. Alright, probably gonna die on the boss again. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the whole justice shot thing. Because I've just been speeding through it. Like, when enemies, like, pull their gun out, you can shoot the gun out of their hands and it gives them, like, it gives you 500 points. I'm trying to get on one of these guys. But it seems really inconsistent. But that's apparently the, the key to high scores in this. It's not really a quick draw bonus. It I, I can't tell like how you're supposed to do it. If it's like a, a timing thing or... A precision, like you have to shoot it, shoot them at the right pixel. I haven't found anything consistent for it yet. But I wasn't really doing this as a score run. I just wanted to to run through this as fast as possible. Although not quite a not quite speed run. God, it's so hard to see him do the charge attack behind the. Fucked up transparency. The fucked up non transparency. Oh wow. Get out of there! Sure you can! I knew that was gonna happen. I don't have the power up gun. Yeah, it's an emulator glitch. There's some Konami hardware games that have been kind of kind of fucked up in MAME for a while. A lot of games in the early 90s. Like Mystic Warriors has some problems. Marshall Champion has some problems. Hey, two loop clear. Holy cow! All right, satisfied with that. Well, of course the game's gonna make its own cow puns. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh yeah, sexy Parodius has had some problems too. 
Oh, dang! Dan, gifting out five subs. Holy cow, indeed. Thank you very much for that. That is very kind of you. Another Noman had been uh, playing this a bit for the 1cc marathon. And I was like, I need to, I need to relearn this game too. Then, Samchai. Oh, double Samchai. I assume the the, the the end graphic is supposed to be like farther to the left, so he actually takes a bite out of it. Wait, what? Score one thousand. I had, like, 42,000. What the hell? Wait. Arrow isn't a... What? I didn't, like, uh... I didn't roll the score. What the hell just happened? Why is the arrow not a... Not backspace? <laughs> I was gonna put in what... Damn, I got I got double mixed up. It took away my score and then the the arrow doesn't do what I expected it to do. God, that screen flashing. I'm sorry. I got hit by the double mix up. It's a strong Oki game. Anyway, thank you. Thank you again Noman for the for the gift subs. Grass